What's up guys, KiwiJ3000 here, and welcome back to part 5 of Let's Play Modern Warfare 2. So we are back um, with Ramirez and Hunter21, and we are basically doing what we did in Mission 6. Well, not quite, but kind of. Um, I'm going to give a fair warning. Um, on the night of recording this, my dog, and if you didn't know, I did get a new dog. Um, he has been acting up like crazy tonight. He keeps on barking like crazy. So, if, if you hear him barking, I sincerely apologize. But I figured I'd uh, let you know in advance. So, we have this... Um, thing here honey badger and we can actually um we can aim targets for it to like kill not gonna do it quite yet i wish the thing would get off the screen if you saw like a couple seconds ago i um activated the thing the laser Basically, you aim it where you want, you press RT, and this thing will shoot whatever it is you aim at. It's pretty, it's pretty useful. I don't use it a whole lot, but it can be handy. So for the most part here, we're just going through normal houses. No big deal. Oh, shit. Are we? I feel like I just skipped an entire section. Alright, who's shooting? What the hell? What the hell? I might have to use the uh, designator, like he said. Alright, I aimed at a uh, turret in the middle of the street. Come on, wasn't there a grenade here just a second ago? Badger one to hunter two, target destroyed. Well, that's good. So there's a bunch of guys at this roadblock here. Where should I aim? So I'm guessing I just hit the spawn point where they're supposed to all come in. Because I've never seen them back here before. Hee hee, I'm running away from my guys, I'm running away. Your team is to divert to 4677 Brookmere Road after you have eliminated the triple A. Check back with me when you've completed your main objective. Overlord out. Alright, so we've got to go to 4677 Brookmere Road once we destroy some triple uh, A guns. Alright, I'm gonna try to get into this garage here. Make a run for it. Because I find that this house, the house that I'm about to enter, once you get into it, it's actually a pretty good flank for them. I feel like I'm speed running this. I'm running through this a lot faster than I normally do. I don't know why. I will 
do just that. Roger, attacking vehicle. Oh shit. Also, you do want to watch out for the cars, so they will blow up at times. Alright, I'm gonna be really stupid here, but luckily I just got a checkpoint. So with this house, normally you're supposed to go in the front entrance, you're supposed to take out the guys on the ground level and upper floor, and then go to the basement, take those guys out, and then head out here. But you can just head through the garage into the basement, and then... I already, I already fired on that one, I thought. But anyways, if you go through the garage, you can just cut right through the basement, not kill a single one. And just get out here. Really nice, um, you know, shortcut. I've never heard of anybody ever speed running the Call of Duty games, but if anyone ever were to, I think that would be a pretty good time save for this level. Well, now we know why he's such a high-value target. Not target, but individual. Check the and shit. No sign of force. Got here too late. So we have to wait until uh, Sergeant Foley gets in here before anything else happens. Move faster, man. Sarge, check out these tats. It's not your average trooper, who are? Look, get a couple of photos for G2 and check the bodies for intel. Who are? Shepard's not gonna like this. Overlord, the HBI is good. Seems we're headed the wrong direction, sir. Shouldn't we be coming back to the fight? Plenty of fight to go around, McTavish. Glad you made it out of South America. You're meeting up with the Sixth Fleet, leading the counter-strike. Prisoner 627. We believe that's who Makarov's got the mat on for. But we can't get to him. Oil rigs, sir? Russians are using them as SAM sites. Oil workers are human shields, so we can't just blow up the rigs wholesale. And this one is the least defended. Boys, I know I'm sending you into the meat grinder on this one. We're defending it, so it means we want it. Especially if it gets us to six through seven. Okay, so we have to go into an oil rig to take care of some SAM sites, which is the first part of an operation to get to a gulag to rescue prisoner 627 who Makarov, well, despises even more than America.
So we're in these little torpedo things, whatever they are. And we're heading to the oil rig. I'm, I think I'm gonna kind of speed run this level as well. I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna die in this level, but there's probably gonna be a couple times where I mess up. You'll see coming up. I'm taking the lead here. Go a visual water right in. Three to engage. Suppressed weapons only. No matter how you how you hit him or where you hit him at, he's always gonna flip over the railing. Every time. Alright, should I just go? I'm gonna try. Alright, let's do this. Let's give it a go. That. So there's hostages, they're the oil rig workers, they were taken hostage by the bad guys, and basically if any of them die, whether you accidentally shoot them or if the bad guys shoot them, it says mission failed. You basically have to restart at the last checkpoint. So it can be kind of tricky, because it's kind of hard to see. Oh my bad, gotta get down so the... Helicopter does not see me because this is a very uh Hotel six. More hostages are What was that noise? What the hell? I wonder if that's gonna show up in the recording. Clear. Clear. Control. All deck two hostages secured. Enemy radio. I think we're gonna have company, sir. Set up a plan B. Get some C4 in those bodies. Go. C4, place, sir. Get to an elevated position. We'll ambush them with the I'm actually bodies. gonna let... We have to go up this ladder. I'm gonna let McTavish go first. There's the patrol. Hold your fire until they're closer. Stand by. So here's where things start to get a bit tricky. Not tricky, really, but uh, a little, I guess a little more tricky. Because now they know we're here. It's actually going to be a lot here, so I'm going to throw a grenade out. Oh, what the hell? Fuck. Oh. Good thing we're only back here. Yeah, so there's an enemy helicopter that's going to be kind of chasing us throughout here. What the hell? Alright, 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 alright. Where are my guys at? I need help. I need big help. Come on. Please. Okay, why? Why? Just please. Too many guys here. Please.
I'm gonna just deal with this fucker right now. D don't tell me I missed that. Oh, bullshit. There's no way I missed that. Oh, yeah, so this gun has a thermal sight, which is pretty cool. We're gonna kind of need it later. Good. Oh, thank God. Yes. No, not that gun. This gun. And trust me, we're gonna need this one a bit later coming up. Whoa! No, 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 no. Alright. We have to get up to the upper level and basically just kill everybody, you know? The mission is to overtake the oil rig and the SAM sites, so... Now here is where things start to get tricky. So they throw out a whole bunch of smoke grenades, a whole bunch of them, and they use thermal sight, and we use thermal sight, so it's a whole bunch of this. Shit. Oh shit. No, no, what the fuck? You know I was trying to hit the guy in the window. He's got like a machine gun or something, like a big one. Come on, there we go. I think I got him. Alright, there's, there's something messing up with my audio. I don't know if it's gonna be on the recording, but... At least for me, there's something really wrong with my audio. Well, not right now, but it's now happened twice during this recording, so I don't know if it's going to happen again. Do we have any more guys here? Not moving, because I don't know where that frag is. Did he just float? I'm, I'm gonna have to look at that in the editing. It looked like he floated a little bit. Like on the, on the ground. Or off the ground, I mean. Anyways, this is the final breach section. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about my bad. No, the thing I forgot about was, um, there's this guy that comes from the left, he tries to knife you. You wanna take him out first. Alright, who else is there? I don't see anyone else. Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, that's that. All hostages have been secured. I repeat, all hostages secured. Proceeding to LZ Bravo. Over. Good job, Hotel 6. Marine reinforcements are inserting now to dismantle the staff. Get your team ready for phase two of the operation. So now we are heading basically to the Gulag to rescue prisoner 627. Oh, I think next part is going to be a very fun part. Oh, yes.
Six fleets mopping up. Time to move in. Long history of this building. Not much of it pretty. It started out as a castle with an actual dungeon, built to withstand any siege. The building survived every brutal winter. The occupants, they weren't so lucky. The monastery didn't survive the purges. Over the last century, it's played host to anyone the government didn't want but couldn't kill. The place is filled with living casualties of the last war, which I swear I thought we'd won. And I suppose it's all a day of the races. You back the losing horse, and this is where you end up. 627's the piece to meet Makarov once, so let's cut him loose. Okay, so next time we will be going to the Gulag and we are going to rescue Prisoner 627. So thank you guys for watching part 5. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in part 6. So until then, peace out.